succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my little Strombo cactus, Discyformis cactus, a little bit about it, and also sharing the care tips on this amazing, rare, special cactus. Now, I was inspired to do this video after watching my friend Ziggy here on YouTube, Ziggy's Cactus Channel, do a special video about his new Strombo Cactus Discyformis that he got from a late member of the British Cactus and Succulent Society. And his Strombo Cactus Discyformis must be at least 50 years old, a gorgeous, huge specimen. And um, I want to link up Ziggy's channel also up above and also down below in the video description you must go over and check out Ziggy's amazing video he made on his new Strombo Cactus Discyformis you'll see it is a huge size and also do subscribe to Ziggy and show your support and also don't forget to subscribe to me too so thank you Ziggy for giving me inspiration to do a little video about my Strombo Cactus as you can see it's a hell of a lot smaller than yours now this little cactus here I've had for about two and a half years. I was very lucky to be gifted this amazing cactus from a guy called Simon from London. Now, Simon has grown this disco cat, this the Strombo cactus disciformis from seed around 25, probably about 27 years ago now. And as you can see, it's still very tiny. It's a very slow growing type of cactus. <coughs> and, it's, and it originally comes from, excuse me, it's natural habitat, so in Mexico along with things like Lophophora and Areocarpus. It's also one of those cacti that have a, a large taproot where they store a lot of water. So it's very important when it comes to caring for this particular cactus that you give it extra special care compared to other types of cacti. They need to be extremely careful with the watering and also um, in a very well draining cactus mix, mix which I'm going to talk about now in the care tips. So that's a little bit about mine. I've had this personally two and a half years and I got it from a grower who had grown it from seed about 25 to 27 years ago. Very, very gorgeous. I keep this here in my grow room in a south facing window so it gets plenty of sunshine and um, seems to be doing well. As I say, very slow growing. Hopefully I'll get to see flowers on it one day in the future. The flowers on Strombo Cactus Discyformis are a lovely sort of peachy colour, lovely flowers. And you also get a pink flowering version as well, which is a, another type of um, Strombo Cactus Discyformis, a subspecies variety that has the pink flowers. So very excited, hopefully to see this bloom one day. So now let's talk about a bit more depth about the care tips. Now, as I say, this is one of the rare choice type of cactus plants that comes from Mexico. And it likes a sunny position. Uh, they love plenty of sunshine. And during the winter months, it's really important that you keep them totally dry with no watering at all from, from sort of mid-September up until eight, the beginning of April time, depending on obviously where you live in the world. But they like to be kept completely dry over the winter and ideally at a minimum winter temperature, no lower than five celsius which is around 41 degree fahrenheit and that's as, as long as they're kept totally dry in some climates if you have a very dry desert like cold atmosphere they can take a little bit colder than that if they're kept dry but as a good all-rounder no lower than five celsius 41 fahrenheit in winter now with the soil they like to have an extremely well draining gritty and sandy cactus soil. I always like to use a mix of about three equal parts of loam, sharp horticultural sand and grit. If I don't have grit then I'll use pumice. But the most important thing is that it's very well draining and that's because these type of cactus plants are a little bit like Areocarpus and Lophophora cacti in that they have a, a taproot and that's where they store a lot of their water. And tap roots are very prone to rot if they're kept damp too long with um, damp soil. So it's very important that when you do start watering this cactus from the springtime, from about April time that you make sure the soil is totally dried out before you water again. In fact this one is is like as I say the Areocarpus and Lophophoras they can go a lot longer in between waterings than other types of cacti can and obviously if it's in a very well draining gritty cactus soil it should dry out pretty quickly within a few hours to a day. That's really important with these taproot type of cactus plants. 
And obviously when you go to repot, repotting the growing season, spring and summer, into a pot just the next size up. As I say, they have tap roots, which is why I've got this one in a little small, um, one of the little shot glasses. Not the most attractive little pot, but it's perfect size for a cactus like this that has a, a tap root and not many roots. I would rather under pot than over pot to be on the safe side. Propagation will be from seed. These cacti are solitary and they don't pop out like other types of cacti. Some other cacti do. This one is a solitary plant. So if you're growing this one, it has to be seed grown. Very, very, very slow growing. As I say, this is 25 to 27 years years old from seeds and look at the size of that still it's tiny a little top plant so it is very slow growing they're often seen grafted because they have a, a tap root and they can be a little bit more rot prone and also they'll grow much faster if they've been grafted as well so these are hard to find for sale and when you do that as i say that they, they you do often see them grafted this is one that's been grown on its own roots as i say seed sown so this is why i'm very careful with this one when it comes to watering and uh, the repotting now once you've grown if you grow them from seed they'll often flower then from about 10 years on so they have to be pretty mature before they will flower and you have to have a ton of patience as i say very small growing so I think I've covered just a few little things about the care tips about this gorgeous little Strombo Cactus Disciformis and I'll probably do a few little videos a little bit about each individual type of special cacti that I have. This is a, a very beautiful and I love the sort of tubicles on this one. Very uh, special and I do hope to get to see it in flower one day. I'm not sure if Simon who I got it from did have it in flower or not but um, I have it in a sunny window and hopefully spring or summer I should get to see blooms on this in the future. So again, do check out Ziggy's amazing uh, video he made on his lovely new Strombo cactus. Absolutely awesome. Biggest, biggest uh, Strombo cactus I've ever seen. A gorgeous specimen. And uh, hopefully, um, I don't know if I'll be around to see mine grow that size. As I say, they're slow growing. But uh, just wanted to share this little special cactus with you all. So thank you so much for watching everyone and for lots more tips on tricks on how you can care for and grow many different types of cacti then do please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Do please follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon and also check my website out desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all an amazing cactus powered Day!